Hey guys, welcome to the Fury Time channel. The head of the Mushroom Boxing Promotion Company, as you heard him say, that Anthony Joshua will hold his next fight on December 10th or 7th if he does not get a fight against WBC champion Tyson Fury. The main thing for Joshua is activity. We want him not to stand idle. We want him to regain confidence. We want Joshua to fight against in the United Kingdom. We also want him to fight in different parts of the world. Ultimately, we want to lead him to another heavyweight title fight. If such a fight turns up right away, it will be even better because such opportunities are very difficult to create. At the same time, we plan to perform on December 10th or 7th, probably, in the United Kingdom, and Trini Joshua will fight against a top 15 opponent, and then perform again in February or March next year. We have a very big fight with Dylan White. There is also a big fight against Dante Wilder, he didn't say it. In reality, even if some people don't like to hear it, Joshua is still the biggest shot in boxing. I mean, the Joshua Fury fight is five times bigger than the Fury Usyk fight. This is the reality. By the way, Fury vs Usyk is a great fight, a duel for the title of absolute world champion. But as I say, people want to see a Joshua Fury fight. Despite the fact that AJ lost to Usyk, I told the fans they, they would see a duel with Fury. I don't think it will take place in December. But even if the fight takes place in the spring or summer next year, it will be the biggest in boxing. Here on said. According to talk sport journalist Michael Benson, the teams of the WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua decided to suspend negotiations on a possible fight in connection with the death of Queen Elizabeth II. The promoter of the British champion Frank Warren explained in a comment on talk sport that they do not consider it appreciate or discuss the fight. It's such a tragic moment for the country. Frank Warren explained that they paused at negotiations on the Tyson Fury Anthony Joshua's fight and will resume them next week. Tyson and I just don't think it's appropriate at the moment out of respect for the royal family," Benson wrote on his social networks. The famous American trainer Teddy Atlas shared his opinion on a possible fight between the British, the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Teddy Atlas believes that AJ will suffer another defeat and will most likely be knocked out. I think Fury can stop Joshua. I like AJ. He is a talented boxer and he has had a good comeback. I like it all. I am not going to say that he has a fragile chin, but I want to say that Fury has a stronger chin. Joshua found himself in a dark place when he was not a by Ruiz. After which he returned to the lighted room. He sees the light even after two defeats, but after the fight with Fury, an eclipse may come again. Where does his confidence go after that? Atlas said. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 1000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. The former contender for the heavyweight championship Cuban veteran Luis Ortiz responded to critics who, after losing in the fight with Mexican Andrew Ruiz, called him old and are retiring. I have a few words of wisdom for the guys who expressed their opinion and say that I am old because I touched the flooring in a fight with Ruiz. First of all, it's heavyweight. I would like you, lightweight, to try to fight only one weight category higher. I bet most of you wouldn't even last 5 rounds. You have to understand that I went through 12 rounds and wanted more. In the last round, I didn't even see it on a stool. Excuse me, but all heavyweights once fell. And some of them still have it ahead of them. Some boxers say that I was old because I fell. But I got up. Why don't they say about Fury, Joshua, White or Wilder? Are they all too? I stood face to face with a guy who is 25 pounds heavier than me and took the fight with him. I'm ready and I want to have a rematch with Ruiz, Ortiz said. Ruiz Ortiz also turned to the British, the Korean WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, challenging them. Hey Fury and AJ, I hear you're looking for rivals. Well, I'm ready to fight any of you. Let's see what you guys can do against me. Or just added. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.